this is just in the shop if you really want to waste your money. Subscribe, please! And it is just an event overview uh, of what to expect for 2.3. So we're gonna quickly go over that and uh, see what we have. So let's have a look. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Obviously, we get a new story. Uh, Trailblaze mission Feral Pinacony will go online soon. The Trailblazing expedition of Pinacony has come to a wonderful conclusion. It's time to stride forward to the next destination. But before moving on, let's bid a formal farewell to the White Knight behind you. So, this is great. You just need, obviously, to reach uh, the story point of 2.3, so you need to have finished like, the main story. Uh, normal stuff. Event Warp, so we really... We already went all of, all, all of that. Um, Firefly, she's amazing. Rune Mei, even more so. If you already have Rune Mei, you can pull for Firefly. If you don't have Rune Mei, I would recommend pulling for Rune Mei. Um, in general, you kind of want both. Misha has a surprising amount of um, damage. If you don't have an, a big, like, ice DPS, you can actually get Misha. He's pretty decent uh, for certain bosses, specifically. He's not as bad as people make it out to be. Shreyi is very, very good. She's a strong single target uh, break effect unit. But I mean, let's be real, if you're pulling for Firefly, you probably won't need Shreyi. But uh, she's still very good. She's very cool looking as well. I love her animation, so you can definitely build her. Gallagher is very good and very necessary for Firefly team. So there it is. Uh, not, really, not really much to say here. Um, for this here, um, Firefly Light Cone is pretty good. It's a best in slot, obviously, but uh, there is a free Light Cone, free to play, literally, five star Light Cone that you can get in Hertha's shop from doing Simulated Universe and stuff. Uh, the Fall of the Aeon, uh, that's gonna be her second best in slot, so you definitely don't need this. Roman's Light Cone, very, very good, not necessarily necessary, but it's like 60% uh, break effect. Um, as well as other good buff for the team, so that's very good. As for the order icon, uh, we have um, Memories of the Past, which is very good. It's a harmony icon. Um, generally, it's a very, very good four star gacha icon for both Ruin May and Harmony MC and others. It's very good. Um, day one of my new life, I don't even remember what it is, but it's there. I think it's a preservation icon, I'm not sure. It's it's eh. And then we have Eyes of the Prey, which is actually very good. I think it's the best light cone for someone like Black Swan, for example. Um, I think it's just effective trait and dot damage. Um, so it's very good on multiple characters. It's even very good for Kafka, I believe. Um, so that's fantastic. So essentially two very, very strong four star light cone uh, on this banner. So you can definitely get that. Uh, War Riven 2, so that's when we get the release of Jade, which is a uh, hot mummy. And the Gen C, who he's useless, but if you like him, you can get him. Unfortunately, the 4 star here are pretty underwhelming. Natasha, obviously, is just not that good at this point. She only heals. She does have some... She has some good amount of healing. Um, and she has cleanse with a skill, but that's pretty much it. Uh, she's getting outclassed by a lot, a lot of new healers since then. Serval is serviceable. She actually has some good... Part. Um, she has some dodge, she has some good AoE, and her ultimate cost is actually very low, so you can just ulti a lot with her. So that's really not bad. Then uh, Asta, realistically, is the only 4 star on this banner that's kind of useful. Um, or like, you probably have the most value out of her. She's actually quite decent. Uh, she's a, She has a lot of sp good speed buff. Um, she can work on dot teams and stuff like that, so she's pretty much the only four star that you really care in this ban uh, care about in this banner. But yeah, uh, then here we have some light cone. So here I would say uh, Jade light cone, surprising slot. Or Gentis light cone is actually pretty good for multiple evolution character. Uh, so that's what it is. When it comes to four star light cone, um, I think um, yet hope is priceless. I is that a new light cone? I feel like it might be, or it's a recent one at least. I don't even know what it does. I'm sorry. I I'm a terrible person. Or is that after the Charmony Festival? No, I think after the Charmony, Festi after the Charmony Fall is the new one. I don't know what it does. They're both editions, so, you know, they're going to be useful for one of those characters. If you don't have it yet, it can be good for potentially Herta. Although Herta already has a very strong light cone, like a... 
the self mirror something that gives her like 90% uh, follow up damage increase or whatever it is. And then um, actually the universal market is a position like cone. If you get hit, um, you can burn enemies, which is pretty good um, to have on a preservation unit if you're running with um, Acheron, for example. So this can be useful on Venturing, it can be useful if somehow, for some reason, you're still running <laughs> Preservation MC, that's decent. So there it is. I uh, personally don't have it, I would love to have it, but I don't know if I want to pull on this banner. Then, Divergent Universe, new game mode, apparently available after 2.3. This is going to be the new um, the new Simulated Universe mode and this will be the one thing that also has the save system which will allow you to uh, farm more efficiently for your planet ornaments, so that is great. Next, Apocalyptic Shadow, this is a new permanent game mode. Uh, it's the end game mode where you do some boss rush or whatever that is and um, you will get a lot of uh, resources, still a jade, all the good good. Um, so essentially, now we have three endgame modes with um, this, Pure Fiction, and MOC. They will all rotate, um, and essentially, uh, because it's now on a three event rotation instead of a two event rotation, uh, you might think, oh, yay, 800 Stillajade. It's not actually 800 Stillajade bonus. Um, I think it's around two f additional pool per patch, essentially because of the way it will now function so yeah it is what it is it's still new stuff to do which is always awesome and uh, a little bit more still a jade which is also awesome then the nether puppets by challenging this game mode you can get access to a free shui which is great she's uh she's pretty good especially with her e6 she actually becomes a very very good dps i love her so i'm definitely gonna appreciate uh this Adolon. Next, we have Origami Bird Clash. Complete the arcade multiplayer game to obtain rewards such as a specific four-star character. So um, you can play these events and you will get a bunch of uh, Stellar Jade, all the good good, and a choice of a four-star here. Arlan, I would not recommend anyone to build him. Luca, he's a decent... Um, he had decent amount of uh, toughness break. Also, he's a pretty good uh, bleed. Uh, DPS, um, like a, as a dot character, so you can run him with some Kafka and stuff like that against physically weak enemies. Hanya is a very SP positive support. She's pretty okay. Um, she's very underused. I, I feel like there's some ways to make her very useful, and she also looks great. Just put her with the sister Shui, and they're gonna be they're gonna be cute together. Gallagher, very good, especially considering that Firefly is coming out. This is potentially a free Eidolon for you out there, so keep your eyes on that. And then we have Stellar Shimmer. Mysterious test on the space station to earn tracks of destiny and other rewards. Uh, not a lot of information here, but the track of destiny is always good. Stellar Jade is always great. Some relic remain that's nice for crafting your relics and stuff. There it is. When Charmony rings out, uh, apparently available. Um, I believe this is just a way to get... Uh, a Shadow of Harmony. So if you already have... Okay, so basically this allows you to immediately get the Trailblazer Harmony, the Harmony MC, even if you haven't completed the story, which is nice for new players. And if you have already completed the story, this allows you to get an Eidolon. So we finally are going to be able to get that last Eidolon, uh, which is fantastic, because this is a good good. Um, Harmony MC is very, very strong. And uh, with his E6 available, that's going to be absolutely fantastic. Woohoo! Then, some check-in events. Gift of Odyssey, that's 10 free pools. Planner Fisher, we're going to get a double drop rate for Planner Ornaments, which is going to be awesome with the fact that we are going to get the save system, so that's cool. Realm of the Strange, this is a double drop rate for the Cavern Relic, uh, so you'll be able to farm more of your new Relic sets. For example, if you're pulling for Firefly, this is going to be very useful. And then we had the Nameless Honor. Obviously, this is just the Battle Pass. And interestingly enough here, we can see um, Firefly, or what looks to be Firefly, obviously, as well as Sam, her robot. And they both have that, um, like they have a red design. And here you can see there's like a pauldron, which looked like in the cinematic we saw, looked like one of the higher-ups had that. 
So is this Firefly or is this one of the higher ups? It's very hard to say because they all look similar. That's kind of the point of Fireflies. They were all like genetically modified. So there it is. Anyway, at the end of the day, this is what we get. Firefly Vision, the Avatar Sign Vision. So uh, yeah, I don't know what this is about um, story-wise, but there it is. And then uh, some new Hertha contract. This is stuff you should never get. It, it's uh, pay for progress. Uh, but yeah, this is just in the shop if you really want to waste your money. There it is. And that's it. Overall, some good new stuff coming up. And uh, yeah, looking forward to all these events. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Lots of love. Subscribe. Like. Catch you on Twitch. Bye.